Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to talk about a topic called differentials. So differentials are a way of using the derivative to estimate the amount that a function or a y value changes as a result of a small change in an input value or an x value. So we learned at the beginning of the course that dy dx is the same thing as f prime of x. At the beginning, we sort of just treated these as two different notations for the same thing. Each one represents the derivative or the slope or rate of change of a function. But now when we start to talk about differentials, we're actually going to think of each of these quantities, dy and dx, separately. So dy is going to represent change in y and dx is going to represent change in x. So if we think of these separately, then we could think of solving this statement for dy. We would do that by multiplying dx over to the other side and we would result in the differential dy equals f prime of x times dx. This equation then allows us to measure the amount of change in y that would result from a particular amount of change in x. So let's take a look at how we might solve for dy. So we wanna here find that differential dy for the function y equals sine of 5x squared. Now remember we just saw that in general, dy is equal to f prime of x times dx. So what we wanna do is we wanna take our derivative, dy dx, using normal derivative rules, and then multiply over our dx. So here we go, our derivative for sine of 5x squared would be cosine of 5x squared times, using our chain rule, the derivative of 5x squared is 10x. Now solving for dy, we would multiply both sides of our equation by dx to get that dy by itself. So dy would be 10x cosine 5x squared dx. So now, with a particular change in x, we could measure the change in y. Now you might be wondering, where would we use this? Okay, this just seems like a little bit of algebra moving the dx over. Differentials are all often used to measure how much a tolerance level in an estimate would affect some sort of measurement. So let's look at that. Suppose that we were saying the Earth was a perfect sphere and we were estimating that the radius of the Earth was about 3,959 miles, give or take a tenth of a mile. So give or take 0.1 miles. What effect would that tolerance of 0 0.01 miles have on an estimate if we were trying to estimate the Earth's surface area? Well, using the Earth as a perfect sphere, our surface area for a sphere formula is 4 pi r squared. So let's calculate the differential dsa, or change in surface area. In this case, that would be dsa over dr, since we're differentiating with respect to dr to r. And that would be equal to our derivative here, which would be two times four or eight pi r. Now, if we want to measure the change in surface area, we can go ahead and move that dr over. And we will have dsa equals eight pi r dr. Okay, so let's now plug in the values and see what our tolerance of plus or minus 0 0.01 miles would do to our surface area. So dsa, or the change in surface area, would be equal to eight times pi 
times our radius, which would be 3,959, times dr, or the change in r. That's our tolerance of plus or minus 0.1. All right, so 8 times 3,959 times 0.1 gives us that this is plus or minus 3,167.2 pi which is about 9,950, give or take, so plus or minus 9,950 square miles. So we can see using this process of differentials that even a tolerance level of just give or take one-tenth of a mile when thinking about the radius of a planet as large as the Earth would affect our surface area by upwards of 9,950 square miles. All right, guys, that does it for this video on differentials. Until next time, we'll see you later.